Hi, I am Amy, and I will walk you through the Fuse Forward Smart Campus platform. This platform fits different types of campuses, such as universities, government buildings, or industrial sites. In this demonstration, I will walk you through the East Coast University campus. The main view of the platform is the campus view that shows the campus environment. The 3D scene can be rotated and translated. Users can zoom in and out or select predefined camera views. Buildings can be selected on the scene by clicking on them. Global key metrics, such as energy consumption and carbon footprint, can be accessed in this view. Another view of the campus allows for the exploration of the underground infrastructure using both public and private data sources. Electricity, water, gas, and steam metering data are streamed to the cloud for the calculation of critical KPIs. A building can be selected directly in the scene Additionally, the left navigation can help to quickly move from one building to another and visualize subsequent floors. At the top of the screen, the path to the current view provides easy localization within the campus. Point cloud datasets provide a near real view of the campus and its buildings. These datasets are captured by fixed or mobile LiDAR systems or laser scanners and offer a wealth of information. Both outdoor and indoor scans are made available to users to explore the buildings in their tiniest details. Once in the building view, selecting a floor is straightforward. Only one click is needed to move to the desired floor. The floor view can visualize both assets and rooms. It is also the interface where data, streamed from the building and processed in the cloud, is displayed. Behind the scenes, data lake components such as cloud services and databases collaborate to process and analyze the data, providing immediate feedback to users. In this simplified 3D scene, three rooms are shown along with some assets, specifically fan coil units. Clicking on an asset instantly populates the state view, where the latest measurements for this asset are displayed, including the sensor name, its reading, and the most recent timestamp. Moving from one asset to another is made easier by using the list of assets, which is automatically populated upon selecting a level. The red badge on the Alarms tab indicates the faulty sensors on the selected asset. Five different types of alarms are detected using both rule-based and machine learning algorithms. For this asset, the platform indicates that an anomaly has been detected on the CO2 sensor, which is providing values outside the normal range. To further check the air quality sensor, we can view the historical data on the Charts tab. The sensor is indeed faulty, as negative measurements are not expected for CO2 concentrations. By selecting another asset, we can confirm that there is an alarm related to a faulty reading of a negative discharge air temperature. And we can verify in the historical data that the sensor intermittently provides erroneous measurements. The campus model is based on a vast knowledge graph that captures all relationships, the platform allows for easy and interactive exploration of this model, starting from the selected entity in the scene. 
The knowledge graph provides a wide range of relationships between the selected asset and other building entities, such as the thermal zone to which it belongs, its physical location, the ERV that feeds it, and its subcomponents. The knowledge graph is fully synchronized with the scene. It highlights displayed nodes with color shades for visual identification. Conversely, selecting an asset or a room in the scene brings it into the knowledge graph for further exploration. The knowledge graph is also a powerful tool for finding entities in the building. A pattern can be entered into the search bar to explore all available results. The platform can connect to external asset management software, such as Maximo, to retrieve work orders associated with the unit. The asset view provides an in-depth visualization of the asset's internal workings. For a fan coil unit, it displays an interactive view of the cooling and heating coils, their control valves, the supply fan, as well as the movement of airflow. Other sensors are displayed with dynamic icons that reflect their current state. In this example, the icon indicates a temperature higher than normal. This concern has already been captured by the fault detection algorithms and can be verified in the historical data. This second example draws the user's attention to anomalous air quality sensor readings. In this last example, the unit appears to be working properly. However, a warning indicates that a low set point of 12 degrees Celsius has been set, which is causing extended cooling. The fault detection service has reported this issue as well. In conclusion, the Smart Campus platform leverages technology to create smarter, more sustainable campuses that increase occupant comfort, reduce costs, and minimize environmental impact. Thank you for listening.